What is good you guys? It is Justin back for another YouTube video. And so today, as you can see right here, we are going to be filling out our 2021 March Madness bracket. We have all the teams here. I like to do this every year. It's a fun thing. We didn't get to do it last year, obviously, because of coronavirus. They didn't have a tournament last year. So, you know, it's been two years, but we're back. And so, um, also, before we get into the video, I just want to say, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment on what other videos you guys want to see. I know I haven't uploaded in a week, almost two weeks. I apologize, but I'm back. And so, yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. So, we're just going to go from, we're just going to go from up to down here. So, we're going to start out with the West now. The one seeds are Gonzaga, Baylor, Illinois, and Michigan here. So this one's gonna be easy for me. No matter who wins this game, I'm going with Gonzaga for right here. Now, Oklahoma, Missouri. So I was looking at ESPN yesterday and I'm pretty sure Oklahoma, one of their top players is out. I'm not sure who. Um, Austin Reeves, all right, what was it to say? Or somebody, but yeah, I know one of their top scorers is out. And so with that being said, Missouri did have a better record. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with Missouri. I think that's gonna be an upset there, especially since Oklahoma is missing one of their top guys. Now Creighton and UCSB. Now UCSB has a better record, but they haven't played not one team in the top 25. And so I'm gonna go with Creighton here. Now this right here, I'm pretty sure I've seen that Ohio is a team that a lot of people are picking as a sleeper pick to make it far in the tournament. Now, they've only played against one top 25 team, but I'm going to make a bold pick here. So based off of other people, and I've seen other like ESPN analysts, based on them and what they picked, and uh, also on top of the fact that I don't like Virginia, I just don't like them at all, um, I'm actually going to go with Ohio here. It's going to be the first big upset that I'm picking. I don't know, man. I just, oh, my bad. I just don't like Virginia. And also, Ohio is a good team with a great record. So, we're going with Ohio. All right, now, USC and, yeah, we're just going to go with USC there. I don't see any of these teams beating them. Kansas, that's easy pick right there. Now, Oregon and VCU. Oh, man. Um, Okay. Oregon won 11 out of their last 12 games. They finished 20 and 6. Um, yeah, I'm going with Oregon. I don't see an upset happening there. And right here, Iowa has Luca Garza, one of the best players in the nation. So I'm going with them. Now for the East Division, Michigan. That's that's not even a question. LSU and Saint Bonaventure. Now as Saint Bonaventure, Saint Bonaventure has a better record, but they haven't played not one top 25 team. Their defense is a lot better. Let me see here. Um, all right, so I've seen USC play, a f I mean, excuse me, LSU play a few times, and I like this, what's this guy's name, Cameron Thomas, I think he's really good, and so, I don't know, I've seen LSU play a few times this season, so I'm going I'm to go with LSU there, I like them, I think they can make it kind of far. Okay, Colorado and Georgetown. Now, I don't know much about Colorado, I'm pretty sure they just won the Pac-12 tournament, yeah, they did, I don't know, yeah, wait, upset loss? Oh, they lost, I guess. Okay, but Georgetown is on a huge streak right now. They're they're going crazy. And, you know, I don't. this probably is not the smartest pick, but they won their t conference tournament. So I'm going to trust in Patrick Ewing, and I'm picking Georgetown for the upset right here. Now we have Florida State and UNC Greensboro. Um, I don't know much about either of these teams. I'm just going to go with Florida State. Um, Okay, so now this is interesting because... BYU and all right, so basically I was I was looking at this the other day and I was thinking about this and I was thinking huh Michigan State is they beat some very very good teams recently like in the last few weeks So I am gonna go out on a limb here and I'm gonna pick Michigan State to not only beat UCLA But also beat BYU in the first round that may be a dumb pick, but that's just what I think is gonna happen Now we have Texas and Abel Christian Never heard of that school, so we're going to go with Texas. Um, UConn, Maryland. That's interesting. Um, the return of leading scorer. UConn has a strong defense. 
Yeah, um, yeah, I don't know much about these teams. I'm just going to go with UConn here. Alabama, I really, really like Alabama. I like the, um, they got that dude, John Petty. They got Javon Quinterly. They got that other big dude down in the middle. I like Alabama a lot, but. All right, now we're going to go to the South Division. So right here, that's the Easy Baylor. Now, I'm a Duke fan, and I don't like North Carolina, so I'm just going to pick Wisconsin because why not? Villanova and Winthrop. Now, I'm pretty sure Villanova is another team that's missing one of their top guys. Um, it says, Villanova enters the tourney. They lost three out of the last four games, and they lost their senior point guard, Colin Gillespie. Um, you know what? Call me crazy. 23 and 1. They're 20. No, I'm pretty sure I saw something that said Winthrop, 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 whatever, has has only played three teams the whole season. They just play three teams continuously. But, you know, I'm, you know, this is March. Anything can happen. I'm going with an upset here. Villanova is missing one of their top guys. Winthrop has barely lost. We're going with the upset. Now, Never heard of North Texas picking Purdue here. I really like Mac McClung on Texas Tech, so we're going to pick them. Arkansas, um, why not? Now, Florida, Virginia Tech. I know Virginia Tech is nice because I'm a Duke fan, and I'm pretty sure they beat us this season. If not twice, at least once. They, they have beat some very good teams. Um, yeah, I'm going to pick the upset here. I'm going with Virginia Tech. Ohio State, Oral Roberts, I'm going to Ohio State there. All right, now we're getting into things a little bit here. So, Gonzaga, Missouri, Gonzaga, if they are going to lose, it's definitely not going to be to, like, you know, down here somewhere, Ohio and Creighton. Oh, man. Now, if, if Ohio does make it here, then this is be interesting. They did get blown out in their last game. Oh, man. Jeez, this is definitely tough right here. You know what, ladies and gentlemen, it's March. It is March. You know what? We're going with it. I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm doing this, but I'm just feeling it right now. I'm just feeling it. Ohio is going to upset Creighton. That's what I'm calling right now. Now, USC and Kansas. If Kansas, like I said with Gonzaga, if they do lose, it's not It's not going to be until down here somewhere. I don't think they're going to lose to USC. Oregon and Iowa. I like, like I said, I like Luke, Luca Garza on Iowa. I think they're going to make it far. Now, Michigan, LSU. LSU was nice, but not that nice. Michigan. <sighs> All right, man. Yeah, I think this is where Georgetown's luck is going to. Ooh, no, nah, I don't want to. I don't want to say that. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. I, I, mm, you know what? Oh, my gosh. I don't know why I'm doing this, but frick it, man. Just absolutely just frick it, bro. We're picking Georgetown. I don't know. I just had a I just had an instinct. I don't know why, but we're picking Georgetown. Anyways, uh, Michigan State, Texas. So, all right. So, I picked Michigan State to be here, but I don't want to go too far with that. So, I think that might come back to bite me, but we're just going to go with Texas. Alabama, I really like them, so we're going to pick them here. Um... All right, let's go back up here now. Baylor, Wisconsin. That's the easy Baylor. Winthrop and Purdue. Purdue right there. Texas Tech and Arkansas. Now, I don't know much about Arkansas, but I do, as I said, like Texas Tech because of Mac McClung. Easy Ohio State win right here. Illinois and Drexel. Illinois is not going to lose to... Oh, wait. I didn't even do this one. I, don't, I didn't even do this one yet. Oh, my bad. Illinois, Drexel, Loyola, Chicago. I like them. They have a... Nice story to them. Tennessee and Oregon State. Oregon State did win their tournament, but I got to go to Tennessee here. Oklahoma State, I am a huge fan of Cade Cunningham. I think he's nice, so we're going to go with them. Um, Syracuse, San Diego State. Let's look at this. Oh, man. Syracuse is worse on defense. All right, my bad, you guys. I had to go somewhere, but we are back now. So, <clears throat> as I was saying right here, Oklahoma State, I really like Cade Cunningham a lot. I think he's going to be the first pick in the draft probably, and I, th I got them winning. Um, San Diego State, yeah, West Virginia, that's going to be an easy win right here. Now, Clemson and Rutgers. I was thinking, let's see, Clemson has a better um, defense. Rutgers has a slightly better offense. 
but Clemson is in our in the um, 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 Duke's division, the ACC, and they did beat a lot of good teams in here. So I'm gonna go with Clemson because of that. They have more experience, I think, with playing better teams. And now Houston and Cleveland State. Now Houston, I'm gonna pick them to win. They have Quentin Grimes. They have a lot of good guys in that team. <clears throat> all right. Um, all right, I gotta do this side now. All right, so. Illinois and Loyola Chicago. Loyola Chicago is a very good team. They could upset some people. And honestly, they could upset Illinois. Their defense is very good. But maybe it'll be a close game, but I don't see it happening. I'm going to choose Illinois right here. Next, Oklahoma State. I'm picking them to win. I already told you guys why I like Oklahoma State. Um, West Virginia and San Diego State. Let's look at this now. So, San Diego State only lost four times this season. And they were 2-0. and oh. Ooh. Ooh. All right. So they, they didn't play the best. The teams they played weren't too good. West Virginia played a lot of actual good teams. Yeah. Just because of the experience, I'm going to go with West Virginia here because they did play a lot of good teams. I'm picking them right here. And then right here, <coughs> I got Houston. Um, all right. So now we're going to go back up. Gonzaga and Ohio. Uh, I already picked Ohio to beat two good teams. So now we're going to. That's going to end. We're going to pick Gonzaga there. Kansas and Iowa. Um, ah, man. Oh, man. So, Kansas is slightly better on defense. Iowa is slightly better on offense. Did they, they play each other? They did not play each other. Okay, so let's look at this. They both played very good teams. You know what? All right. I think I'm going to go with... I think I'm going to go with the upset here. I'm going with Kansas. Why? I'm not really sure, but I do like Kansas. And I don't know. I think when it comes down to it, um, Iowa is going to be too dependent on Luka Garza. And I think that Kansas will be able to take advantage of that. So we got Kansas there. Now, ba oh wait. Yeah, Baylor and Purdue. Yeesh. Um, yeah, no, that's not that hard. I'm going to go with Baylor right there. All right, now, Texas Tech and Ohio State. Now, as I mentioned, I really like Texas Te Texas Tech because of um, Mac McClung. But, yeah, I think they've lost a lot of really. I think it'll be close, but I think when it comes down to late game, Ohio State will be will be ready, and they'll be there. So we got Ohio State there. Now we're going to go come back down here. Michigan, I think they should beat, should beat Georgetown. Um, Texas, Alabama, I really like Alabama, as I said earlier. So we're going to go with Bama there. West Virginia and Houston. Now this is this this is very interesting. But oh, Houston's only played one top twenty-five team. Oh man, I mean their conference isn't the best. But I'm gonna trust Houston here. I don't know if this is the smart thing to do, but I am going to go with Houston. So we got them in the Elite Eight against. Um, oh man, you know what? Call me crazy, man. You can call me crazy. I think I'm going to do this. You know what? Oklahoma State has been too hot recently. Ladies and gentlemen, look me in my eyes right now. Oklahoma State is going to beat Illinois. I'm booking it. You can book it right now. It's happening. Now, we're down to the Elite Eight. Who's next? Gonzaga, Kansas. I think uh, Gonzaga is going to outmatch Kansas easily right here. Baylor, Ohio State. I like Baylor. Um, okay, now. Oh, wait, where, where am I picking at? Right here. <sighs> guys, I know you guys. All right, so here's what I'm going to do now. Oklahoma State and Houston. Now, again, call me crazy. I may be overhyping Cade Cunningham a lot, but, I mean, I'm, I'm riding with my guy. I hope Oklahoma State is going to the Final Four, ladies and gentlemen. So now, we have that, and then we have Michigan versus Alabama. Now... Man, I just I know how I trust me I know how crazy this looks, but I'm I like Alabama a lot I I like Alabama a lot I'm gonna pick Alabama there, but so we get to the final four. Once we get here, I think Alabama is simply outmatched. We're gonna go with Gonzaga here, and then Baylor, Oklahoma State. Now these two teams played each other. Um, Oklahoma beat them last week, but oh man, ah. I don't know. I think Kate Cunningham is going to have a monster game. And I don't want to say this, but I think I'm going to go with Baylor here. We're going to go with Baylor. And then for the national championship, I think we have to go Gonzaga there. 
now I'm gonna enter, do all that. For the tie the score. Alright, let's look let's be let's be smart here. So Gonzaga scores around seventy or no, ninety points a game and Baylor scores. So I'ma say it's gonna be a championship game, so it'll be closer. I'ma say Alright. I don't think it'll be too close. I'm gonna say seventy five Gonzaga to sixty eight for Baylor. And ladies and gentlemen, we got number one Gonzaga versus number one Baylor in the finals. Gonzaga winning by seven and we're gonna submit. That's it. Oh shoot. Alright, so as you guys can see, we got Gonzaga winning. And so I'm probably gonna do some more brackets here on my own end with like my friends and all that, but that is gonna cap it off for this video. I picked Gonzaga to win. Let me know right now down below in the comments who you think is gonna win the uh, March Madness this year. And uh, yeah, it's gonna cap it off. Please make sure to leave a like. Thank you guys for supporting me continuously. I'm back, back with consistent videos every few days, and that's gonna do it. Peace out. Got the homies right here with me, and they gonna ride no matter what. Lately I've been trying to pop. Lately I've been going off. Lately I've been trying to pop. Lately I've been going strong. I've been trying to make things right. That's for the times I was wrong. I was just down bad, bad. Now I'm taking off like a bomb.